So this is the huge sword the Red Frame has and it's actually called the Tactical Arms 2L and it consists of a gun handle here, a normal sword handle and of course the blade and the edge of the blade is white well the rest is black and green which fits the gun very well and this sword can do numerous things like transform into other weapons as well as be mounted on a backpack so let's do the backpack thing first again we have a sort of plateau on the backpack so here is a peg that goes into here and it will snap on very easily and there you have it equipped on the backpack and there's another way you can do that too because now I used this hole and when you use this hole you can't rotate the sword but if you use the bottom one and I'll show you so you can actually rotate the sword like this and I hope it stands I hope it stands like this and yes so when you cut it like this it's really cool and of course you can rotate the sword all 360 I don't think it will stand like, oh it will stand like this so that's really cool actually so let's pop it off again okay so the next thing we're gonna try and equip the sword but as you saw the sword is far too heavy but what you get with it is a mini action base so now we're gonna equip it for you guys so I finally equipped the sword and it took me a while, it took me actually one minute to do it because you have to use both the Gundam hands on the handle so sometimes I equipped one hand and then the other one and when I equip the other one the other one will pop off because you need two hands but I finally did it and I must say I'm really impressed and it looks just really large, not too bulky and I think that's really cool and although you need an action base or mini action base that you get with it to you mount the sword it still looks really cool so now let's take a close up look of the Gundam like this and as you can see this is the handle it had three holes so I used two of them for the pegs in the hand and for the rest it looks really cool and what I'm gonna do now is actually transform the sword into a bow so let's do that so now let's transform the sword into a bow and for that you need to open up these two blades like this then you have to pull them off both of them like this then you extend this piece so pull and then fold them inwards so you get this shape and the same goes for the other one extend fold you get this shape so now you have these two pegs here I'll first rotate these to the front so it will be easier to equip them so these pegs go into the hole here and then equip like this and the same goes for the other one so like this and then equip like this so you nearly get the bow shape what you then do is pull this and then rope and do it like this then pull this backwards and then fold in again so you get this shape, so it's actually nearly a bow so now you're gonna pull this piece off and rotate it a bit and pull it like this on again then these pieces go backwards and then you rotate them both like this so now you have the bow actually but no bow is complete without sort of ammo so I'll put this in here so it like, looks like it's shooting something so it's really cool so now let's uh, equip it on the Gundam and see how it looks so when the bow is equipped I must say it looks really cool and at first I thought is it even possible to equip a bow this way because you have a hand over here on the gun handle and on the other side you have a hand here all the way over here so the hands are pretty far from each other but it works so props to Bandai making good kits and I really like the bow, it's really dynamic, I even like it more than the sword and what I think what finishes the bow, or sort of finishing touch is the clear green effect parts here so it's shooting uh, beam arrows, so that's really cool so now we're gonna make another shape and yes it can make another shape and the sort of backpack shape is this shape I don't know what it's for, but we'll find out 
So we have the bow here, and to transform it into a crazy shape, we're gonna do this. So the handle will rotate it a bit, and these parts go inward like this, and then you have to pull really hard this, and then put it inwards again. What you're gonna then do is fold these open, both of them, and then you already have the crazy shape. And to do the finishing touches, we pull these two, rotate, and pose it like this. And now we're going to equip it on the backpack of the Gundam. So again we have the hole here, with the pack. Then we put it in. Oh, come on. Okay. Yes, we have it. So I hope it stays up. I think it does. So, let's see, and yes, it stays up. I don't know actually what the shape is for, but it looks really cool. A sort of extra jetpack thingy. And you know, as you can see, it took me a while to actually make it, make it. And I'm pretty impressed that the Gundam just stays put and doesn't fall over with the shape. It's really cool. And now we're going to do the last shape actually. So let's go through that. So we have the crazy shape again, and now we're going to transform it into a bow again. So you pull this up and push it in again. These blades go back. Then these ones, you push them in. Then fold up these two, or the blades. And then we have the bow shape again. And then you have to rotate these pieces like this other one like this and you have the bow again so what you want to do then is go to the backpack of the Gundam and actually pull this piece off so we're gonna do that do like that then this hole comes into the piece and then you put it here but it will fall off but that's where the action base comes in you have a hole here if you can see it there then you push it in and there you have it sort of jetpack and I think it can even fly so let's try that out and yes so that is really cool and really impressive so if you just put the legs like this it looks like it's flying and now let's equip the swords as well for some extra awesomeness <laughs> So again the two katanas, like this. Okay, so that is one. And now let's go to the other side. And again they're ball jointed so they can move. And let's put it on this one. So I must say I'm really impressed about this kit. And this is how it looks when it's all equipped. So, and let's equip the sword as well. So when everything's equipped, I must say it looks really impressive. And of course it looks really cool when you have it like this. With the swords equipped and the jetpack as if it's flying. So what do you think about this kit? If you have the money, I would definitely pick this up. It's a really cool kit. I really like the bow and the sword. It can transform in many different things. And the katana just look really cool. And it's really cool to get on the sort of action base with it, so it can fly like this. The only downside I have is the crown, because it just sometimes falls off, as you can see. It's very loose, but that's the only thing actually, so it's pretty cool. So I hope you liked this review, and I really liked building this kit. It was really, really fun. So I hope you liked this review, and see you guys next time. Bye!